Are you looking for the best way to transition from bottle feeding to breastfeeding? In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest and most effective methods that will help make your transition smooth and successful. 1. What is the best way to transition from bottle feeding to breastfeeding? The best way to transition from bottle feeding to breastfeeding is by slowly introducing your baby to the breast. Start with short, frequent nursing sessions and gradually increase the length of each session as your baby becomes more comfortable on the breast. To help your baby better adjust to breastfeeding, it is also important to provide a comfortable, relaxed atmosphere during each nursing session. For instance, make sure the room temperature is warm but not too hot, and that you have a supportive pillow or cushion for yourself and your baby. Additionally, skin-to-skin -skin contact with your baby helps foster bonding between you two and strengthens their latch onto the breast. It can be helpful to practice latching techniques before beginning the transition from bottle feeding to breastfeeding. 2. How can I make my transition smooth and successful? Making the transition from bottle feeding to breastfeeding can be daunting at first, but it doesn't have to be. Here are a few tips that may help make the transition smooth and successful. 1. Start by offering your baby frequent breastfeeds during the day and at night allowing your baby to become familiar with the sensations of breastfeeding. 2. If you plan to pump for feedings, start pumping early on so that your milk supply is well established before replacing bottle feeding entirely with breast milk. This will help ensure that your baby has enough milk and can also provide an easier transition for them. 3. Talk with a lactation consultant or doctor about any questions or concerns you may have. This can help you understand the basics of breastfeeding and how to ensure a successful transition for both you and your baby. 4. Be patient with yourself and your baby as they adjust to the sensation of breastfeeding. It may take some time before they feel comfortable, but it will happen. 5. Lastly, stay consistent with breastfeeds while gradually reducing bottle feeding sessions. With patience and consistency, you can make the transition from bottle feeding to breastfeeding success. 3. Are there any tips for a successful transition? Yes, transitioning from bottle feeding to breastfeeding is fairly easy and straightforward if the right steps are taken. Here are a few tips that can help make the transition smooth. Introduce your baby to the breast slowly and gradually. Start by offering your baby shirt sessions at the breast, then gradually increase the duration of each session. You may also want to try different positions, such as crawling or side lying until you find one that's comfortable for both you and your baby. Make sure that you're relaxed and comfortable when nursing your baby. Try using soothing music or lit candles in order to create a peaceful atmosphere for feeding. Offer plenty of skin-to-skin -skin contact with your baby. This is especially important for newborns and can help to foster a strong bond between the two of you. If you're experiencing any difficulties, don't hesitate to seek help from a lactation consultant or other breastfeeding expert. They will be able to offer advice and support on how best to proceed. 4. Is there a particular time that is ideal for transitioning from bottle feeding to breastfeeding? Some experts believe that the best time to transition from bottle feeding to breastfeeding is when your baby is between 4 and 6 months old. This is because babies of this age are more willing to accept new experiences such as breastfeeding, than earlier in life. It's also important to note that, even if you decide to transition at a later stage in your baby's life, for example, 12 months or older, it's still possible for them to learn how to breastfeed with patience, positive reinforcement, and guidance from a lactation consultant or doctor. You can also introduce breastfeeding gradually by giving your child some express breast milk from a bottle or cup alongside regular feeds from the breast. 5. Does it take a longer or shorter amount of time to complete the transition depending on an individual baby's needs? It depends on the individual needs of each baby. For some babies, transitioning from bottle feeding to breastfeeding can take a few days or even weeks. Other babies may transition in a matter of hours. If a mom is having difficulty transitioning her baby, she should contact her healthcare provider for advice and support. Additionally, many local hospitals offer lactation support services that can provide guidance for making the process easier for both mom and baby. With patience, 
understanding, and perseverance you can easily make the transition from bottle feeding to breastfeeding. 6. Can mothers alternate between breast milk and formula during the process of transitioning from bottle feeding to breastfeeding? Yes. Mothers can alternate between breast milk and formula when transitioning from bottle feeding to breastfeeding. The important thing is to ensure that the baby's needs are being met and they are getting enough nutrients. The frequency of supplementation will depend on how much your baby nurses and what their individual needs are. It's also important to remember that if you are supplementing with formula, it should be given at least two hours after nursing so that the baby has time to get the full benefit of your breast milk before switching over. Additionally, introducing a bottle too soon may cause nipple confusion for the child, so it's best to wait until breastfeeding is well established before introducing any bottles or pacifiers. With patience and consistency, transitioning from bottle feeding to breastfeeding can be a successful and enjoyable process. 7. Are there any signs that indicate that your baby has successfully made the switch from bottle feeding to breastfeeding? Thus, one of the most common signs that a baby has successfully made the switch from bottle feeding to breastfeeding is when their diaper output decreases. This means they are getting more nutrients and energy from your breast milk than they were from formula, as it is more easily digested. Additionally, you may notice that your baby's stools become softer and yellow-orange in color which is an indication that breastfeeding is going well. Your baby may also start sleeping for longer stretches at night since he or she isn't having to work so hard with each feeding. Lastly, if your baby seems content after feedings and appears satisfied throughout the day, then this likely indicates that he or she has successfully transitioned to breastfeeding. We hope this video has been helpful in providing you with the information and tips to make transitioning from bottle feeding to breastfeeding easier. If you have any questions or would like more information, please leave us a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe for more parenting advice videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.